All right, the VPN is here for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. I made a video two days ago talking about how it was rolling out, and it did, and now I finally got it on my phones. So I had a couple of folks that wanted to kind of explanation of what a VPN is, what kind of benefits it has, how it works out for you, and we'll kind of take a look at it real quick. But it's very simple and easy, straightforward, not a whole lot to it. Ultimately, a VPN is something that's supposed to help give you privacy and make things more anonymous when you're on the internet. It's harder to track you, your location, your data, and your information. And that's a good thing. And if you watch any tech videos, which I'm sure you probably have, there's a whole bunch of them you've probably seen sponsored ad spots for, like NordVPN and Surfshark and all sorts of other ones. So this one is built and baked straight into the phone. And you might have some familiarity with it because you could already get it with Pixel phones if you paid for the monthly subscription. The Google One plan, it was like $9.99, I think, and it comes with two terabytes of cloud storage, and it also comes with the VPN. So if you had that already, you're probably very familiar with it. This is very simple and straightforward, and what it does is it kind of hide your identity when in your information when you're on the internet. It kind of bounces things around. I wish you could change the location. So a lot of times with VPNs, it's especially helpful if you're in like another country. So let's say, for instance, I was in Germany a couple of months ago. I wanted to watch HBO Max, but it didn't work over there. Like they don't, they don't have it set up where you can watch HBO Max. It's not licensed to work over in Germany. If I had a VPN that would allow me to change my location, it could have I could have diverted my traffic using a US server and then they would have, the, my information as far as HBO Max was concerned, it would think that I was dialing in from the USA. And then I could have watched it. Unfortunately, that's not something that you can do with the VPN that's in here. I, I wish you could. Maybe at some point in time they'll make that available. But one nice thing is it's built into the phone. You don't have to turn on any apps. It's already there. And once you turn it on, it's very easy to see. It shows up right here and it says VPN is connected. So you can do two things right here just on the drop down on the quick display. You can hit the button to disable VPN, which is nice, or you can hit the snooze button. And you're probably wondering why would you want to snooze a VPN? Well, sometimes when you're using a VPN, certain apps don't want to connect to their servers. So maybe it could be a banking app, maybe it could be something different, I don't know. But you might need to temporarily turn off the VPN to allow that data to get through the way it's intended to, and then that way you can use it. So you could just hit the quick display settings, click snooze real quick, or tap for those of you who want to nitpick, tap on the on the, uh, on the the snooze, and then it'll temporarily disable it for a few minutes, and then you can get the data through. And then it'll just turn itself right back on. Versus if you disable it, then you gotta go in and turn it back on manually. But it's nice because it's in your quick settings. And also, you can get there through the Google One app. So I have mine right here on my home screen, Google One. So when you first fire it up, it's gonna tell you a little bit about it when it fires up, but you can set it to snooze for five minutes, which is right here. And then you can, well, add five more minutes or you can end the snooze, which is nice. You can use a little switch there and toggle it directly off in here. Let, let's do a top-down approach and I'll show you. We'll just do a, we'll do a, a brief walkthrough and I'll show you what the VPN settings look like. So this is basically what it looks like. Whenever you open up Google One and you go to the VPN, then that's pretty much it. So, I mean, you've got different stuff in Google One. Down here, you can see home, you can see storage, you can see benefits. You see the different icons here, how much of your storage is full, uh, clean up your VPN and your backup. So, you've got the VPN set up. So, while the VPN on your Android device, you can reduce online tracking by hiding your IP address. Your IP address is something that's used commonly for ads, for tracking, for knowing what your identity is on your computer. So that's something that it scrubs. So whenever you're sending data out, usually that's how your device is identified, like an address. It doesn't have that. And then you can stay protected from hackers or unsecured networks, like on public Wi-Fi. When you're on public Wi-Fi, it's especially important to try and scrub this data and to hide this data and to send your information to secure it and divert it elsewhere so that way it makes it less likely while you're out in a public space that somebody can get access to your information. You're not on your home firewall. You don't have all your home security guards on your routers and stuff like that. So this makes it more anonymous when you're in a public space. That's really good. And then browse the web with a secure and private connection. Same thing. As much as you're sending data back and forth in those connections that you have. And also it doesn't, even though Google has this VPN set up, Google is not tracking this data. Google is not associating it with your Google account. So even though you have your IP 
uh, identity scrub. There's no IP associated with it. It also doesn't associate your Google account with it, which is especially important too. So those are some great things. And then you can go into the settings and there's not a whole lot here. Maybe they'll add more stuff later. I really hope they do. I really want them to create it where you can go select different regions or, or countries. That would be really nice. So anything they add will be here in the future. But so all they have for advanced settings right now is to allow certain apps to bypass. Now that's something like I talked about where you would want to snooze it real quick. If you have certain apps that have trouble getting data out, then you can have it where they are not, where it bypasses the VPN every time that you use them. So it's very easy to add that onto there. And if you're having problems with connectivity or certain functionality with your apps working while using the VPN, then that's something that you would maybe want to consider doing. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, there's not a whole lot in here. Um, I just wanted to go through and talk about some of this stuff. And also right here, using apps when the VPN is on. I, I kind of broke this down already, but it says most apps will load when the VPN is on, but some won't. If this happens, you can update your settings to allow apps to ignore the VPN, which is what we just talked about. So that's just kind of some gee whiz stuff there, but it's nice to have. And also it's in your quick settings as well to access it. So that's, that's basically the VPN for Google in a nutshell. Okay, so that's all I've got. Hopefully this explanation was helpful for you. Hopefully I helped out a little bit and now you got some more peace of mind. You understand what the benefits are of having it and if you want to use it, when you should use it, when you shouldn't use it, all that good stuff. And there you are. You're more educated on what a VPN is and hopefully you're enjoying it for free with your Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go down in the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, if you like this stuff, then please hit the like and the subscribe button and little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.